Now we come to server replies section, uh, this is the server replies tab. This is responsible for uh, all the uh, generated messages because what happens is if the server cannot deliver your message for some reason, it will generate a return uh, undeliverable uh, mail, right? You, you, you're you used to it. You, you get these messages all the time because if you send uh, a message to somebody who, like you, you get a wrong email, for example, you get a message back saying, yeah, I, your message couldn't be delivered. And this is exactly that. That's what uh, this section is responsible for. Now, there are a couple of options here. Obviously, you can change the reply, the reply itself, the text. And uh, <clears throat> you can change it if you, for example, use a different language. For example, this this is in English. If you use uh, I don't know German, you can change it to be in German. But you can just leave it alone. It doesn't matter too much. And this macros is going to be replaced by the recipients that the error has occurred to. So if you send an email to uh, I don't know x y z at gmail dot com and um, he doesn't exist, then you will get a message like this saying gmail uh, xyz at gmail.com couldn't get this message. We couldn't deliver it for some reason. This is the body of, of the message. <clears throat> now, obviously you have the subject. You have body reply subject. So uh, the message that comes to you, it will have this subject. And you have another two options, checkboxes here. So this one, quote the original message in error reply message. Um, I wouldn't recommend checking this because uh, some messages are very big. Let's say if your message is 20 megabytes, <laughs> you don't want to quote it in the error reply. <laughs> right? So usually I just leave it uh, as off. You can enable it if you need. And the second one is use a complete from address in your error reply. I create an endless loop and it's disabled by default. Um, most of the time this need, uh, this requires explanation. Let's say you send a message to uh, a guy that doesn't exist, right? If the server you send it to replies back to you with a normal from address, but let's say for some reason your from address was not exact, was not correct, right? You also specified your own address incorrectly and the target address, the two address incorrectly. So both of them are incorrect. And both of these users, in fact, do not exist. If I specify the from address, right, and uh, my reply will be, it's just a regular email message. It's not different than uh, any other message, right? Let's say I specify it correctly and I uh, specify the from, right? So. What happens is I send a message to the guy, right? Let me, let me even draw it. I send a message to the guy. Let's say this is my message. I send it to a target mail server. This guy does not exist, right? So the mail server sends me a message back saying, sorry, this dude does not exist. But my from address is also wrong. This user ID does not exist as well. Right? So what then happens is this server has to reply back to the correct from address, right? And it has to send a message again to the same guy, but this guy does not exist, right? And the server accepts the message and says, sorry, this guy does not exist and sends it back. And you can see that the endless loop uh, is uh, going to be here. It's going to be indefinitely doing this. To prevent this from happening, Right? To prevent this from ever happening, uh, what usually da uh, is done in my server is I do not include my own from address. It's going to be empty. It's going to be uh, like this, including only the bra brackets like this, right? With no email address at all. So in this case, it's very easy for the server because um, uh, let's say I send a message. Right. Let's say I send a message to the server, and this guy does not exist. Right? It goes back and sends me a message. Right? But in this case, the from address is empty. 
It does. It, it's not there. The from address is is empty. Right? I get this message, and even if my username does not exist here, I cannot deliver this message. Right? It doesn't exist. I cannot send the reply back. I cannot send it. Right? This reply cannot happen because the from address here, the from address here is empty. I cannot reply back. So this is what this uh, check mark is doing. Now, in some cases, for some servers, uh, it's required because there are some servers that have uh, auditors checking them and uh, every email must have a from address, otherwise it cannot be accepted and so on. But unless you have that specifically, do not enable this check mark.